Alrighty, so we're setting up for a quick, um, you already know what it is. Uh, we're going to do a book haul video because I just love books and I want you guys to love books with me. So the first place I went to, these are both in Michigan. Um, the first place is called Another Look Books. It's in Taylor, Michigan. It's a little bookmark. I got four books from them. I got the first three books in the De Beers series, uh, the Willow series from V.C. Andrews. So here's book one, got book two, and book three. Um, they were half half of the list price, so I paid $4 a piece for those. And then I found the Babysitter books one and two, which I didn't really like, wasn't super happy about. I was hoping they had more R.L. Stein stuff. I paid like $2 for that, uh, $2.50, because this was $5. Um, yeah, so that was the first place. The second place I found a sh just a lot of stuff. It was awesome. Um, but the first one I spent like $15 at, <clears throat> which wasn't bad. The second place is called Books on the Ave. That is also, nope, that's in Wayne, Michigan. So it's about 25 minutes from the first shop that I went to. Uh, I'm not going to go in, well... I can go in order of what I found first. So first I found um, The Ghost of Fear Street, Hide and Shriek. That's a couple bucks. Uh, another Ghost of Fear Street, not in the greatest condition, but that was a couple bucks too. The Beast, uh, two. I did have the first one, but I got rid of it, so I'll have to pick that back up. Another Ghost of Fear Street. Um, the Nightmare Room. Uh, this is Locker 13. Yeah, this one was eh, two bucks, so I thought that was cool to pick up. Then I have Calling All Creeps. Um, I like the, the, I grew up with these kind of covers, so I didn't mind uh, picking that up. That was three bucks. And then Attack of the Mutant, also with the same kind of cover, that was three dollars. Goosebumps Horrorland, uh, not in the best condition, but I had this a while ago. Um, when I was younger, probably like a decade or so ago. This was three bucks. Not in the greatest condition, but pretty sweet. And then I found Midnight Library, which I've had before, but I don't have right now. That was like two bucks. Then I found The Maze Runner, which was four bucks. And The Scorched Trials, which is the second book in the Maze Runner series. That was also four bucks. I read those a long time ago and I wanted to get back into them, but it just wasn't the right price. And I thought four bucks a piece was pretty good for that. And they're in good condition. And then I found the Spiderwick Chronicles. I remember getting like a book like this in like a cereal box. Um, and I remember this book. Uh, so yeah, I just kind of thought it'd be cool to pick it up like Sentimental is four bucks. That was probably one of the, yeah, for as small as it is, it was pretty expensive. Then the last three things that I found are I'll sign the Hitchhiker, which I was super pumped about. I actually own that one already. It's one of my favorites. The Perfect Date. I'm not sure if I have that one already. Um, yeah, these were all three bucks, which is a really good price. And then First Date, which I'm excited about because it has a little Dollar General tag on it. Yep. So I paid like 75 something like that. 70 bucks for all that. No, I paid 60 for that. So it's like 75 total, which is a lot, but I don't go out that often and my bookstores around here are not the greatest. So, all right, until next time. Okay, JK, I had one more sitting right here. <laughs> this is I bought this at the second shop also, it was 20 bucks, uh, which is pretty good because it was 30. It still has the original uh, wrapping around it. So, yep, 25th anniversary, five original Goosebumps books with the original covers. Um, we got uh, Monster Blood, Why I'm Afraid of Bees, Night and Terror Tower, Bees from the East, and Legend of the Lost legend is that what it says legend of the lost legend all right yep just wanted to add that because i saw it sitting there i'm like ah, i forgot to put that in there